Hey everyone, this is Skadoosh. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and get into our next Let's Play, where we will talk about potions. Potions seem to be a, uh, a topic that everyone wants to know more about. There are several types, as you can see, and several ingredients to make those potions. Uh, so let's go into how do we start making potions. As you can see, they're all made with the gourd, um, and then of course various ingredients at our uh, pumpkin cauldron. So what you do is of course you want to harvest some gourds and you want to come over to your crude workbench and you want to basically hollow out those gourds um, to make a gourd uh, flask and uh, we'll go into that here. So what we'll do is we'll just craft these out and as you can see it, a uh, gourd, sorry, gourd shell, it drops the, se the seeds from the gourd and creates a gourd shell. Uh, let's go ahead and do that again. Here we go. And we'll just finish off this pile of four. So we have a few of these. And there we have it. So we have these gourd shells now. We'll put these down. And as you can see, they have like a little hole in the top of them. But you can't just use this by itself. So you need to take it and put down some vines with the gourd shells. And then craft that to create the actual flask. Which looks like this. All right, so let's go ahead and create the rest of these. There we go. That's weird how it's just popping in right there. And we're done. So there we've got several gourd flasks. Uh, as you can see, they're pretty neat looking. Uh, they look like little little gourds with the tops cut off and a little vine around them to, to make them a flask. So these are your basic uh, potion vials that will help to craft all the various types of potions. And of course, you're gonna need a pumpkin cauldron and a fire pit nearby to uh, boil your ingredients um, in, the, in the cauldron to make the actual potions that you want. So here's the different types of potions and uh, the various ingredients that come with it. So you have your durability potion and of course what this does is it uh, increases the durability or repairs some of the durability for your tools and weapons. And the way you get that is by taking a wood branch uh, and turning it into wood chips. So if we take our wood branch and we come over to our handy dandy grinding station here, the flat rock and a hammer, and simply put one of these on here and craft, we should get some wood chips. So very simple, very easy. Take the wood chips for durability potion. Okay. Uh, next up is a health potion, and that is any seed or core or rind of a food, a fruit product. So your gourd seeds, pumpkin seeds, melon seeds, apple seeds, cherry seeds, and orange seeds. Any of these will work uh, to create a health potion. And you can you can get these by simply taking. Um, like a melon, Oop, here you go. putting it on the crafting table if you want to, crafting it, and it will destroy the, the melon, give you nothing, and give you the melon seeds. Or you can simply eat them. As you can see, I have one in my hand. If I eat one, I now have two. So if you eat them, you get the seeds as well, which we, you should be familiar with that. Um, and then, of course, you take that and you drop that over here to the crafting station. Uh, next up, we have our plant growth potion, and if you are familiar with Minecraft, bone meal, in this case bone powder, uh, is the ingredient that makes plants grow faster. So the animal horn, which we get from goats, we would take that over to our grinding station uh, with a hammer and a flat rock, and we would craft that up, and it would give us a bone powder. And of course, bone powder is going to be the ingredient we're going to use. Uh, for making a plant growth potion. Uh, next up is the put that down fuel potion. So this is the tooth in the same manner as the horn ground down into a powder. Again, you would take the tooth over to the grinding station, grind it up, and there you have your tooth powder. Okay, very simple. Last but not least is uh, a speed potion, and this is made only with the orange mushroom chunks. Now, you know the mushrooms come in many different colors and many different you know flavors. 
uh, blue, purple, red, pink, white, silver, and brown, and orange. As of right now, only the orange mushroom is viable in the potion, for a speed potion. Alright, so let's take a look at how that looks. Uh, we have four potions, so let's go ahead and get four ingredients and make four uh, potions. Alright, so here's our four flasks. You'll have a orange mushroom chunk. Let's see what else we got here. We'll take a bone meal. Actually, I just want to put down one. That was about four. And we'll do a speed potion. And we'll do, what was the other one? Oh, uh, oh, durability. We'll do durability, just because I have, I have a ton of health potions. What I didn't realize when I started making health potions is that they would uh, they would be multiple use. I thought they would do like a full health bar in one use type thing. And they don't stack either, so I'll show you that in a minute. But anyway, so we have four flasks. We have four different ingredients. We have our pumpkin cauldron and our fire pit. Now, of course, you remember how to start the fire pit is just right click with a piece of uh, chopped wood in your hand. Of course, that starts the fire pit and seeing how the cauldron is nearby it will start the bubbles going which means we're ready to go so we'll just go ahead and craft and it will just take one at random there it goes there's our plant growth potion there's our speed no it's fuel sorry fuel potion there's our speed potion and our durability potion see pretty simple pretty easy uh, let's gather some of these up and let's go outside and take a look. Oh, I'm full. In fact, that's, like I said, they, they don't stack right now. I don't know if that's going to change in the future or not, but they are multiple use, so technically that is a stack. Um, and I don't need this, and I don't need this, and I don't need this, and I don't need this. That's good enough. You know, take this with me, and take this with me. So anyway, as I said, I had made earlier on a bunch, you probably saw them lining my hallway, a bunch of other potions, and I stuck them all out here, right? So your health potion, actually I'll do that one last because I'm not hurt and I can't find any place right now that can hurt me. Uh, fuel potion, okay, simple enough. Fuel potion, simple left click, it uses a little bit of the potion as you saw, uh, and it also refuels my energy, so that's kind of like, uh, hey look at your energy drink. It's kind of that wicked blue color, so um, it should be red at home for those of you who are familiar with, like, Red Bull or something. Uh, let's see, Durability Potion. I believe this works when you have an item on the ground. Oops. Durability. How does this work? Ah, there we go. So, drop your item on the ground, right-click it. As you saw, it uses the uh, a bit of the Durability Potion put that away. We can see we now have a fully rendered, or not fully rendered, but a fully repaired uh, knife. So that's the durability potion. Plant growth potion. Now all my plants are grown, but you can assume the same thing. You would right click on it and it would grow your plant. Um, let's see, and what was the last one? Speed potion. This is the one I have actually haven't tried yet, so this is going to be my first experience. So this is us walking. This is running. And this is on speed. Here's my new house. I haven't, I haven't finished it yet. But. So you can see you get a great boost to speed. It lasts a pretty good long time. I think we're back to normal again. Try one more time. Woohoo! We are rolling. Yeah, that's pretty quick. Boom. So there you have it. There's all the potions. There's how you start it. Um... Like, subscribe, leave comments, all that good stuff. If you haven't seen my previous videos, please go see those. They explain how to create the pumpkin cauldron and the campfires and all that good stuff. So again, this is Skadoosh signing off. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. And again, if you have any kind of uh, situation or game mechanic you want me to explain, please leave, uh, leave me a note and I'll do my best to get you a video. All right, thanks guys. Have fun.